Najib Abdul Razak has joined calls for the Dewan Rakyat to debate the seizure of Malaysian assets by the alleged descendants of the Sulu Sultanate. However, unlike the opposition MPs, Najib wants the government to explain the 22-month Pakatan Harapan administration's handling of the matter. The Pakat MP today wrote six questions on his Facebook regarding Harapan policies. He claimed that the policies would implicate the coalition that was trying to pin the arbitration award on the previous BN administrations or the current government. Here are the six questions asked by Najib. When did the Sulu descendants initiate the arbitration process? Did the Harapan cabinet discuss the arbitration process? Why did the Harapan era attorney general write a letter to the representatives of the Sulu Sultanate to offer a payment of 48,000 ringgit? Was it true that the Harapan era cabinet was unaware of the attorney general's 2019 letter to the Sulu Sultanate? Can the letter be equated to the Juho government's 1953 letter to Singapore over Pulau Batu Pute? Does Harapan support former Premier Dr. Bahadur Muhammad and late Karpal Singh's position that there should be no payments to the Sulu Sultanate? Yesterday, Dewan Rakyat Speaker Aza Azizan Harun turned down numerous requests from opposition MPs for a debate on the seizure of Petronas assets by the purported heirs of the Sulu Sultanate.